Well, thank you, G, for uh, for appearing on our show. The first question I have, can I have your mother's digits so I can give her a call? Uh, actually, that's funny because I'm a foster kid. So it's uh-huh. kind of ironic. Uh, some, somebody call my mom and means uh, call her for me because I don't know her number. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's kind of, kind of a funny thing when everyone talks about mom. So I, I always laugh about that. Well, then, then how did... Can, can you tell us how you were first exposed to the business then? If you're in the foster system, you know, did did you have somebody that took you to a match or did foster. that come along later? Foster on TV, man, every Saturday morning. And, um, you know, it was a big group of us that get up in the morning and, uh, you know, you do your chores, eat your breakfast, and uh, Saturday morning superstars came on, and then you go outside and play, and then you come in, and WCW Saturday Night Main Event comes on. Um you know, and if you get up early on Saturdays, you can see Mid South, and you can see, um, pretty, and then if you stay home sick from school, you can see AWA, and then uh, once in a while you can stay up and watch Saturday night playing event. Um, wrestling was everywhere, and um, I remember uh, I only went to one live event my entire life when I was a child. Um, financially, it just wasn't an option, and uh, we were waiting. Um, and, and when it was over, there was a chance to like to see some of the superstars when they came out. And uh, I remember uh, Big John Stud walked by and like grabbed me on the head, and I was hooked from that day on. Well, and and you had mentioned uh, JYD, and it we're about the same age. I'm a couple years older than you, and and I see the way that you affect my kids, similar to the way I was affected by JYD. You know, my kids have your brawling buddy, and they have your action figures. You know, and I, there is a spot in that for for kids to come into the ring and and dance with with the superstars. You know, can you can you tell us some of the influence that a junkyard dog had on you? Uh, absolutely, grab them cakes was a uh, was tremendous. And I remember uh, he came up clean stump, you know, and uh, and another one bites the dust. And uh, he had the chain and he did the thing on the ring, but he was just he was tough too. Like he wasn't. And those who don't know uh, junkyard dog history, this guy. When he was in Mid South, was probably the hottest baby face wrestling. Um, you know, and, and all through the South, he was the biggest draw. Um, you know, and uh, so when he came to the, the WWF, they got the they got the fan friendly version of him um, that just won crowds over. And kids liked him, and he wanted to dance in the ring with them. He wanted to be a part of it, and that was something that I'll always remember. Um, just seeing those guys in the ring, like how great is that? You know. And um, given an opportunity to bring that back, and I think, you know, and it wasn't, you know, like, I think I kicked that door open, but then you had, you know, Bandango, and you have, um, uh, you got Rose now, and just making people a part of the show, you know, and, and bringing the, the part where people get all excited, because, you know, Fandango's our version of Rick Rude, in my opinion, and he'd come out and just, he'd come out and just do his thing, and, got, you know, the ladies loved him, Guys hated him, and uh, you know the only thing he's not saying is I'd like to have right now. You know, all you out of shape, New Jersey sweat hog. You know, keep the noise down. And but that was the great part of wrestling. You know, that was the stuff that that made us go, man. I want to, I want to be like that guy. That guy's awesome. You know, and um, so for me, um, that was an opportunity. Um, was that character going to win championships? Probably not. Um, JYD didn't win any championships in the WWE. The American Dream, when he was here, didn't win any championships in the WWE. So um, the heel uh, prototype character probably would have had a better chance in, in, in those terms of things. But in an era where championships, you know, where more people are holding championships, guys are remembered who weren't champions. And there's not that many of them. So um, it's almost a different distinction. depends how you look at it. But uh, to be even said uh, in the same sentence, JYD or uh, American Dream is an honor and something that I'm not necessarily sure I'm deserving of, but um, it's definitely cool to be in that conversation.